Hello everyone, here is Captain Crypto. I hope that all of you are having a great day. This video is going to be about Ambrosius and will be most about uh, the progress report that came out today. This is a progress report that comes every two weeks and there are some really nice announcements that are coming with it with uh, presentations that Ambrosius team did in very important places in the last two weeks. So to start things off, on April 25th, that was basically around four days ago, Ambrose's account manager, Radu Dragov, presented, presented for Mastercard Dublin about the intersection of blockchain and IoT and its value proposition for the future of trade finance. This is very interesting that Ambrose did a presentation in Mastercard Dublin. The thing is that initially a person will never think that actually Ambrosius will be targeting finance sector. However, through the suggestion of a colleague in the, from Telegram called Ozzy, he suggested that recently there was post something related with this. And he, in here it's possible to see it. So radically departing from our previous consistent uh, practice of 2007-2018, throat or release um, entity and its behalf of our crypto operational base, we will immediately starting activities with a number of stakeholders to improve various indicators related to cryptocurrency itself. So they want to make a development not just about the Ambrose network, but they also want to do something about the cryptocurrency itself that is Amber. In particular, we will work with liquidity providers and wallets with direct affiliate gateways. Example, ability to top up those wallets using a wide variability of funding sources to improve accessibility to Amber for wider public to strengthen the stability of Amber AMB itself. Because something that you have to take in consideration that is happening is that Amber is just exchange, the main exchange of Amber is basically Binance, and that is a kind of a limitation because it creates problems in the fluctuation of the prices. Another thing that also is really important for Ambrosius is to find sources of liquidity for Amber. Because, for example, if a client is in a country that uses, for example, ruble, they want a liquidity source to be able to pay in dollars to the network because Ambrosius actually use dollar as a reference. So they want to use all liquidity providers among that they can find. And actually MasterCard might be one of the ones helping them. Those will focus in the convenience of credit fiat system for our corporate products, whereas for the crypto products, we will work with values of crypto audience in mind, making AMB a convenient and trusted choice for users to transact with each other in the global digital economy. So they also plan actually to use AMB in a way so that people can transaction value uh, by using it. And actually this might mean that actually um, MasterCard might become a partner, but this was no more than a presentation that they did. So it's no more than just that for now. So meanwhile, adoption development in the Benelux region that corresponds basically to Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg has increased significantly with the number of interested stakeholders from the alcohol industry. So it seems that some companies with, uh, with alcohol production are interested actually in the use of Ambrosius blockchain. Furthermore, Ambrosius has continued its negotiations with a number of consulting companies, both large and small, who are interested in promoting Ambrosius technologies across the world, as well as helping with implementation of solutions themselves. This will be very good for Ambrosius to have other companies actually helping to, to basically uh, provide information and also consulting information to other companies uh, that uh, Ambrosius can be used uh, to solve certain issues that they have. And also if they develop implementations might be very good. Um, one thing that also came very nicely is that the uh, one page ecosystem uh, explaining Ambrosius project came out this week. And this is good for entrepreneurs because it explains in a very simple way what is possible to achieve with Ambrosius network in a very simple way in, in, in one paper. And this way, if people go actually for conference or events, they can 
give these to people that might be entrepreneurs. On the horizon, something that is also very interesting, in my opinion, that will happen is how the Gov will be speaking at Burberry HQ in London about the benefits that blockchain can bring to fashion industry, especially in light of the fashion industry focus on sustainable packaging and plastic alternatives. So this might be very good if this presentation that uh, Radu is going to do in Burberry um, and if a potential collaboration might come from it might be really gigantic for Ambrosus but again this is just a starting point m with potential negotiation so nothing is known yet. Another news that came out is the about the node onboarding package that is in development that it basically ensures that all future Atlas and Hermes nodes operators are aware of their responsibilities and terms and conditions for operating the master node of Ambrosus. This is very important actually for everyone that wants to deploy a node and all progress is already running in a way that Herma nodes, the first Herma uh, master nodes will be deployed on Ambrosus mainnet soon. Just to finish, um, one thing that is very cool for me, in my opinion, that is three SDKs demos are approaching to completion. Completion, And this is very good because this way people are actually will be able to see some of the potential of the network. Uh, and on the horizon, actually, they are finalizing the iOS designs for the one demo application while continuing to redefine and add fixes to the remaining demos. So soon one demo is coming out and we'll be able to see how it works out. And just to end, one last thing, um, Angle Versetti will be present in one uh, conference called Seeds and Ships. And there, there will be a lot of partners uh, for this conference that are quite important. So basically some uh, departments from United Nations related to the agriculture, European Commission, several Italian entities related with agriculture, Africa Center for Climate and Sustainable Development, many actually important world organizations are present there with other partners like Bayer um, that you for sure know and many other biotech companies as you can see here and also uh, auditing companies. So this will be a great opportunity for Angle actually to find partnerships there for the future of Ambrosus and hopefully it will be. So with this I end my video. If you like it please press the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about Ambrosus or other blockchains related with supply chain. And leave a comment if you have something to say or something that that I might uh, miss out and you can help us all to understand a bit better. With this, I want to wish you a good rest of the day.